Welcome to the mouth of the Paraguay, Piranha, and Uruguay rivers. We are starting our journey in the mouth of a piranha. The Paraguay Piranha River is located in the Chaca region of South America. The Uruguay River joins the larger Paraguay Piranha River to the north of the river mouth. The river mouth is called the Rio de la Plata, which is a natural inlet along the coast of South America. This area within research is termed as an estuary. This area also serves as a political border between Argentina and Uruguay. This area of natural harbor that includes the estuary areas of the river mouth, the soil type is said to be quaternary deposits from rock and soil types from upstream in the river's headwaters and midlands. This comes from my research article that is the geochemical structure of suspended sediments in the Piranha River Basin, implications for provenance, weathering, and sedimentary recycling. A lot of the Rio de la Plata region is interesting. With the mixing of the rivers and the ocean area, this is why we get the classification of a tributary. In this image, you see the muddy water from the river system mixing with the water from the ocean. The chapter rivers, it gives the mean annual flow for the Rio de la Plata as 18,200 meters cubed S minus 1, with an annual runoff of 185 millimeters, with the basin area measuring 3.1 million kilometers squared, roughly, which is 1.9 million square miles. The Paraguay Piranha River Delta does not really fit into the defined features of a classic river delta because of the mouth being within the natural harbor. However, with the amount of runoff that is experienced from the river systems, there are some islands that have developed within the area that is the mouth. So there are some evidences of natural deltas forming. This map shows the areas around the Rio de la Plata, which brings us to the state of economics as well as human development along the Rio de la Plata. We can see Buenos Aires and the capital of Argentina on their respective sides of the Rio de la Plata. The area is a hub for cruise vessels going out to the Atlantic, as well as a base for river cruises that go up and down the rivers for wildlife viewing, particularly birds. The shipping port is the largest in South America and is adjacent to Buenos Aires. The city itself is also a popular tourist destination. Buenos Aires has been nicknamed the Paris of South America, with architecture styles reflecting both European and Spanish influence throughout history. With the annual visitor numbers reaching into the millions, the city is a popular place. Because of the natural harbor that is the Rio de la Plata, the larger ships from the colonial era were able to anchor safely from the winds and the waves of the southern Atlantic, creating a colony that has since evolved into this thriving city.